Esport Nutshell News, everything in the world of esports in a YouTube video nutshell. Complexity sheds their Heroes of the Storm team. Lucas Simon Meslek, Cabo Car, joins LCS Team Vitality. Online Poker Site, Full Tilt, sponsors G2 Esports Hearthstone team. I Buy Power releases their esports gaming machine, Revolt 2. Jacob Morojarvi, Pith, joins Ninjas in Pajamas. Video streaming platform, Ding It, fights for market share. Too many players in the platform arena. ESL and Relic launch. Company of Heroes 2 tournaments with a kickoff cup, then monthly finals. Team Alliance beats LGD at the World Cyber Arena 2015, winning $370,000. Nobi took the biggest prize of $46,000 at the King of Iron Fist tournament 2015. Do-it-yourself esports tournament organization tool Razor Arena now supports League of Legends. Paladins removes their random number generator and allows players to build a deck of three cards for their characters. Martin Shkreli, head of Team Imagine, player on Odyssey Esports and owner of Team Leviathan, gets arrested for fraud conspiracy. Twitter's head of gaming, Rodrigo Veloso, gets esports players on Cloud9 and Team Solomid verified with more on the way. 30 teams remain for the Call of Duty World League Pro Division kicking off January 5th with 800 teams competing for the 30 spots. NBA 2K16 Pro-Am mode allows players to win cash and prizes. Critics note in-game purchases give players an unfair competitive edge. Pakistan Telecommunication Company Limited launches an online gaming event called Pakistan Gaming Lounge. Dago Umera, the Beast, donates his $60,000 cap common cup winnings to the Evo scholarship fund. Four denial team members join Team Inspire, allowing them to keep their European Challenger Series spot. Azubu's CEO, Ian Sharp, says, quote, it becomes like an FPS where you're going room by room and trying to clear out the Twitch infestation. A glitch in team in Steam on Christmas Day caused users to accidentally sign into other people's accounts. They shut down within a few hours and fixed it. Jong Min Chul, MC, teaches us that lesson that every five-year-old knows to let it go, let it go. Shinbu Ponferrada, Shinbu, and War Gods run a League of Legends benefit tournament for Philippines typhoon victims. Team Elemental's Jonathan Pan releases the salaries of NACS amateur team Ember. Everyone expresses how that makes them feel. I feel the word discernment. Red Bull will be the exclusive beverage for Team Solomid, and TSM will regularly participate in Red Bull's esports performance program. Esports.us acquires Team Mischief and rebrands the team to Team Freedom. When asked for comment, Team America said, Freedom is the only way, yeah, America. Ooh, Major League Gaming sells office assets and debt to Activision due to financial troubles for $46 million. MLG CFO Greg Chris Holm will step in as CEO. Curious to see how this affects their relationship with ESL. Riot Games will no longer allow LCS teams to use players on the Challenger Series rosters as their substitute players and will enforce payment for all substitutes as well. Copenhagen Wolves announces their roster with Christopher Albeo, Loon Pedersen, P1 Noy, Soren Hold Frederiksen, Soren, Mike Peterson, Wicked, Admir Spahik, Troen, and Risto Luri Sernuxalat. After Riot extended their deadline, Brazil LCS team, kaboom, boom, boom, shake the room, still couldn't sell its secondary spot, so it went to the uh, highest challenger team, Jaob Esports. And INTZ got sold to a group of mysterious investors, with Karik Henriquez as the team's manager. Seahawks' Russell Oaken gives money to Maturino, and former NBA player, Rick Fox buys Gravity Gaming for about $1 million and renames it Echo Fox. He previously partnered with Twin Galaxies and donated his three NBA championship rings to the Right to Game campaign. And in the esports press, there was a field day! Good to be back. Enjoy your weekend.